over the last eight to nine years, I have been using everything from WordPress to Weebly to Wix to Squarespace, all of them. And in my opinion, if I had to recommend just one tool that could help you get online fast, it would be Wix. Wix is the least stressful long-term solution that I have used and I've been using it for some time now. In fact, I moved all of my websites from WordPress to Wix in 2020 and I haven't looked back. Now, if you don't know what Wix is, Wix is a website development platform that gives you the freedom to design and build your own high quality websites from scratch or you could choose from over 500 customizable website templates that you can fully customize using the drag and drop website builder that they offer. Wix websites automatically come with a mobile optimized version that looks great on all screens. And the Wix mobile editor makes it easy to understand your mobile site even more. Whether you're promoting your business, showcasing your work, opening a store or starting a blog, you can do it all with the Wix website builder. So here is how I use Wix to build my website. If you want to follow with me for the rest of this tutorial, I leave a link in the video description. If you click that link, it will take you to the exact page that you're seeing on screen right now and it will make it easier for you to follow with me. It's a list of all of the templates that Wix has and will let you get started with. On the top of the page, you will see that Wix has clubbed together similar categories so it's easier for you and me to find these templates. All you need to do is scroll to that template and uh, hover over it and you'll see the view button. The view button will take you to a new page where you can evaluate if the template is per your requirement or is as close as what you want to. And if it is, you can go ahead and hit the edit this site button to get started using this template. Just remember, uh, feel free to use any template that you want because all of the templates are fully customizable. So whether you start with one template, you can still end up making the website look like something completely different. Just make sure you start with a template that's closest to what you want it to be so you have little uh, work to be done. Alternatively, if you are overwhelmed by these website templates, you can click on the blank template button on top of the template selection page and you will be provided a list of vanilla templates. So whether you want to start with a blank template or a template that's predefined for you, it's your choice. Me personally, I like to start with a template that's already designed for me simply because they've, Wix has done a good job in figuring out the font, the color scheme and all of that. So it's lesser work for me and helps me go online quicker. So after looking for a few minutes, I like this template very much. I'm going to hit the edit this site button and get started. Now, if you're not signed into Wix, this is where it will ask you to sign in. If this is the first time you're using Wix, you will need to sign up. Click on this link over here and you'll get to the sign up page. Put in your best email and password and hit the sign up button. Once you sign up, it's going to take you directly to the Wix editor page. Now this is the most fun part of Wix. All you have to do is on the left hand side, you're going to find things that you can add to the website. Everything from text to designs, galleries, here I'm adding a text box and editing it. It's so easy, I can move it around wherever I want it to be. It can be any font, any color, and uh, it's so easy, just so easy to design this website the way I want it. You can also change up the original template. Everything is editable. So you, if you wanna change colors, if you wanna change the theme of the website as well, it is possible. Now, the, my favorite part of this is what's coming next. And that is once you're done creating how your website should look like on the desktop, you click the mobile icon on the top left, it's going to take you to the mobile editor. And if this is the first time you're on Wix, it's going to give you a wizard that will walk you through some very high level items that you need to know about setting up your mobile website. But as you can see, the mobile website design and development also is pretty neat, pretty easy. And finally, after you're done editing, you can hit the preview button to see how your website would look on mobile or on desktops. You can see here, it's a pretty neat looking website and we did all of this in less than five minutes. 
Finally, when you're happy with your website, go ahead and hit that publish button on the top right corner and your website will be live. Now by default, Wix will run its free banner ads on your website, but you can remove that by paying a small fee, which you can see in the pricing tier here. I recommend that you wait for the sale because in the sale, it's almost 50 to 70% less. So on the sale, I buy a two year or a three year plan because I know the prices are only going to go up from here. It's not going to go down. Also, when you buy a subscription, you're going to get a free domain name for one year, which is great. All you have to do then is select your domain name and then connect it to your website and Wix will walk you through it. So don't you worry about that. Now, I'm not going to leave you hanging. Creating a website or domain name can be a little daunting. So I have created a separate video that will show you all the considerations you need to keep in mind when you decide on a website name. So make sure you check that out. I will leave links to that in the video description as well. So that's it for today. I hope you learned something new. 